Good Tuesday morning, everybody. This is Grace, and it's right before noon, actually. And I have been having one problem after another, and I actually put a video up that I was having problems with technology today. And it wasn't just today. It's been going on that I keep having problems with it. And um, But today especially, and it wound up that I had to call the cell phone company. Now, this is a new cell phone company I just switched to. Um, I think Friday but um, the reason I had to call them was because I just switched on Friday today is Tuesday and I got a phone call from some guy local and he said he the first thing I said hello and he said who is this and I said no who are you and um, he said well I just got a call from your phone number I said no you didn't and, and then he didn't because I wasn't on the phone I wasn't near the phone nothing like that and I was near it but I, it wasn't on <laughs> so um, and he said, yeah, I did. And I said, no, and do not call this number again. Cause I got a lot of calls about from people saying that, um, you know, trying to sell something, you know, it's all a scam. And I just say, I'm on do not call dot gov. Do not call it again. And that's what I said to him. And I hung up. Well, um, I, when that happened, I got a text from him. Okay. I got a text from him and same phone number and he sent I guess you call it a screenshot I've seen these before people um, do something like that and um, it showed my phone number and that I had caught that he had a missed call from me and he said something either that one or the next text that I had caught been calling him and calling him at work and all this kind of stuff but he, but he said, I had just blocked his phone number, but apparently he had to go somewhere else and block on the phone and block it too, which is under the text. Thing. So I did that and blocked te him texting too. Well, the, before I did that, he sent a second text and it says something about my attitude and all this kind of stuff. And that he suggests that I have to do something about my attitude. My attitude was, do not call this number again. Yeah. Okay, so I blocked him from texting me. But I started to think, is this going to be, you know, something that keeps happening all the time? You know, is something, you know, scam or something? So I called the cell phone company and I told them. And the woman said she never heard of She asked her superior or whatever she called her. Something like superior. Not supervisor, but superior or something. And they, she didn't understand. And basically it would be a lot of work to... Uh, I asked some other questions about the data and all this stuff. It, it, it winds up being a lot of work, a lot to remember. Every time I leave, I'd have to cut it off and cut this off and do that. Make sure this isn't done every time I leave my home. And I already figured that some of that out. So and she basically went, I kept asking questions. I said, I have a lot of questions since I just got it. So I was asking questions. And at the end of it, she said, well, I don't know. Maybe you need to take it down to the local where you bought the service, you know, Take it down to them and see them. So I called them and they, and the guy was confused, you know. He said, I need to see it to see what you're saying you're doing. And he didn't know how to do what I was wanting to do to cut off the data. And I could do that on my old service on my old phone so easily. So he says, come in and uh, show it to him. Okay, I just went in and talked to them. I don't like it when somebody gives you more information than what you're asking about. Okay, I'm a type of person like... If I ask a question, I only want the answer to that question. I don't want extra stuff before that's not needed. <laughs> you know, I just I want to stick to a question, you know, to get that answer. But a lot of people these days, I have noticed this more and more as the years gone by, they will give you, like I said, information you don't really need. <laughs> you don't need all know all that because if they they're going to give me a bunch of extra information I'm not going to remember all of it I, I want a, one answer to one question how did I turn and my question was how do I turn the data cellular data off that when I'm roaming when I'm outside I do not am not using it even if I have something on the background the first suggestion I had was to make sure I turn all of it off and I mean so many things off make sure there's nothing running then turn it off when I get back home I turn it back on and all this because uh -uh, I want it off to where it stays off and it will ask me if I want to ever if I want to turn it on I have to turn it on 
okay <laughs> so but the information this you know they were giving me over the phone giving me here was so much else it, it didn't need to be all that now what I want to also say is I have been trying to deal with my anger with anger issues okay and I realized the biggest thing of my anger is that people waste your time waste my time and a lot of the ways they do it is whatever they're wanting to do you know like somebody's wanting to sell an extra something or do an extra something like I had a problem with so many solicitors coming to the door oh my goodness there would be so much crap on my door they would ring the doorbell constantly I was having to get up uh, the dogs would go crazy you know and it was just so much all day long it was usually roofers and you know there is a scam that they that roof people do they say oh well, we need some money down so we can get materials or something something like that so what I did was I just put up a it was making me angry so I put up a little sign that says no solicitation you know, on the door absolutely no solicitation you're on camera no trespassing beware of dogs all of this you know and it's been, I've had one up there, you know, for quite a while. I, I would have to take them down every once in a while and renew them. But, yeah, it says the same thing. Do not bother me. Because they would. And then they started calling. Oh, my goodness. The same thing. Roofers, roofers, calling, calling, calling. And, of course, you know, I said I'd report them to do not call. Not gov, you know. But do they find another person's phone number and keep calling. Yeah, that's people wasting your time because of what they want to do, how they want to get money. You know, scam artists, right and left, we've heard plenty of them. I've read about them, heard about them, everything. I've experienced them. You know, I haven't fallen for it, but yeah. Oh, our, your neighbor told us, you know, to do that. Uh-uh, it was no neighbor.